हरे कृष्णा इंडिया ट्रायम्फ इन दी वर्ल्ड कप एंड शेडिंग ऑफ द चोकर स्टैक मेकिंग सेंस विद द भगवद गीता इंडियाज विक्ट्री इन द टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप हैज ब्रॉड एन एर ऑप्शन ऑफ जॉय अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड फॉर मेनी इंक्लूडिंग द प्लेयर्स इट्स नॉट जस्ट जॉय इट्स ऑल्सो रिलीफ देर हैज बीन more than a decade of drought in getting uh, global trophies and many times india got in the finals and lost and of course on the other side sports is cruel south africa has continued to have its bad streak and some people had built this match as the final between the biggest chokers in history and the biggest chokers in present times so today we'll try to discuss what is this idea of chokers and does it have any basis in the bhagavad gita or how can the bhagavad gita help us make sense of it the bhagavad gita in its 18th chapter explains that actions and the results that come from them have a causal link that is multi level and the causes can be broadly classified into physical psychological and philosophical now of course philosophy can be said to explain all of reality and in that sense the physical and practical and psychological can also be included into it but we are using philosophical in the sense where we try to make sense of the things that don't make sense by normal means so with respect to the cause of the result in a match the physical factors among the five factors that it talks about are the venue and the players and the particular skills of the players so the gita talks about five factors adhishthanam tatha karta karanam cha prathak vidha vividha shi prathak chesta daivam chaivatr panchim this is the place where a particular event is happening the doers the individuals Which are ultimately spiritual beings, then the karanam, the senses here refers to the specific skills that the individuals have, which manifest through their sensory organs, and then there is the endeavor that they make, and finally there is the role of destiny. So from uh, this three-level perspective, the venue and the skills fall at the physical level; the endeavor falls at the psychological level. and the destiny falls at the spirit at the philosophical level even the soul the spiritual being is at the philosophical level so whenever a result doesn't come out depending on the individual perspective everybody tries to gravitate towards certain explanations so for example some people may try to blame the pitch or some people some countries may bash their players sometimes earlier in india also in 2007 when india had a ignominious exit from the world cup very early then the players were garlanded with uh, or at least the effigies of players were garlanded with chappals and footwear so everybody can single out one factor and blame it some people might just say that oh destiny is rotten some people may claim that oh you know our players are not tough enough they're just not uh, they don't have the mental game for it some people may say they just are not have skill so everybody gravitates towards their favorite explanation based on their agendas biases conceptions but if you want a holistic picture all these three the physical psychological and philosophical factors need to be considered that means that when we use a reductionistic label like chokers what are we doing we are reducing the complexity of reality including the complexity of how results come out to solely the psychological weakness of the players now is it possible that the players can be psychologically weak yes of course they are human beings and sometimes nerves can get to them and in some cases of course the players may just make foolish choices Uh, not because they are foolish but because they are just overwhelmed by emotion as happened in the historical run out when donald just didn't run and south africa lost from a winning position because of just one run 
So those factors are there. But just because a person has got or a team has got a repeated number of failures, that doesn't mean it makes it right to reduce everything to one cause. Yes, India lost on many occasions in the last decade. And sometimes it was that the other team played better, we were outclassed. Sometimes it was that the pitch changed and while batting, the pitch was one of one kind and while we were bowling, the pitch changed. Sometimes it could be that the players didn't perform. So using a tag like a choker, it has two problems. It is from an explanatory perspective, it is inaccurate. It is reducing a complex thing to a very simplistic one unifactor analysis. And more relevantly, it is actually damaging. That when such labels are fixed on players or teams, then it becomes an unnecessary burden. The mind is something which we all need to train and we can train. And the cheshta, the endeavor that we do, it's not just the physical workout or the practice that we put in. It's also the mental effort that we are able to put in with it. And the mind is always trainable. And rather than labeling anyone in a negative way, we try to find and get the necessary resources for training the mind. The Bhagavad Gita says that it is best for us to focus on our endeavors. Now, of course, in sports, results is what matters. Winners are the people who are remembered. So victory is important. But at the same time, understanding that there is a complex set of factors that lead the translation of efforts into results. We can avoid simplistic labeling and have the best wishes for everyone, including those who have won and those who have failed to win this time. Thank you.